Welcome back, you beautiful people, to another episode on The Muggsy Show. And guys, this is the last video for 2023, and we got some spicy updates for you guys for today. Dwayne Johnson in a Christmas movie, update to the new Twister remake, the final box office update of the year, and so much more. So make sure you guys grab your favorite drink and your popcorn, and let's enjoy the show. Now, the first topic that we have for you guys for today is the Twister remake. And there's been a lot of questions about what this film's going to be about, if it's going to be a continuation of the original Twister film that came out in 1996. Well, we have all the juicy details from a Collider interview with Mark L. Smith, the writer of the new Twister movie. Now, in this interview, he says no character of the original film will not appear in the movie. The film will focus on a new crew of storm chasers and its own standalone story in the modern day. Now, I love the original film. It has a special place in my heart. I remember watching it as a kid with my dad and I just couldn't believe that these storm chasers were going in there with the F5 tornadoes and they're in the middle of it. I thought it was insane as a kid, but I'm glad it's not a continuation. It's its own standalone film with its own story and its own crew. Now, also in this article, Mark L. Smith did say that the story will center around Top Gun Maverick star Glenn Powell. And that's the update that we have for the new Twister remake. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Are you excited that this film is its own standalone story? Or are you sad that it's not a continuation of the original film? All right, moving on to the next one, guys. We all know Dwayne Johnson can do it all. But can he make a Christmas classic? Well, it has been reported from a reliable scooper, Daniel RPK, that The Rock will be the next Jack Frost. Now, this will be a remake to the 1998 Jack Frost movie. And it wasn't a box office hit at all, but it has become a cult classic during the holiday season. Now, this story is kind of dark. It starred Michael Keaton, who is a dad, gets into a car accident and dies and is reborn as a snowman. Now, of course, with all these rumors, take these with a grain of salt, but I thought it was pretty funny to talk about to hear that Dwayne Johnson will be the snowman for Jack Frost. I don't know. I just pictured the snowman body with Dwayne Johnson's head. Maybe it will work. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe put the tattoos on him. I think that would be perfect for sure. But now, as of right now, there's no writers or directors said to be attached to the project. The Rock has done it all, and I won't be surprised he makes a box office hit with this movie. But let me know in the comment section, guys. How do you feel about Dwayne Johnson being Jack Frost? Now, let's go ahead and move on to this Disney character going into the public domain on January 1st. Now, for those who don't know, Congress released a US copyright law, which allows copyright to be held for 95 years. And there's so many characters like King Kong, Sherlock Holmes, Frankenstein Monster, Winnie the Pooh, and so much more. Now, the Disney character that's gonna be in the public domain on January 1st is the Steamboat Willie's short film that featured Mickey Mouse. And that means the likeness of Mickey Mouse is not protected and you can use that character in any way you want. I mean, there's already been rumors about a Mickey Mouse horror film. Now, even though this character is in the public domain, this can all still be very tricky, even after January 1st, because Mickey is a brand to Disney, like the switch sign is to Nike. And if this image is tarnished in any kind of way, Disney will find a way to sue them. And that was reported from the Disney team and how important Mickey Mouse is to the Disney brand. But I don't know, guys, you guys can take the risk all you want. Just make sure you have some good lawyers to back you up or just make sure your Mickey Mouse don't look exactly like the one they have now. But yeah, guys, don't be surprised to see a bunch of Mickey Mouse projects in 2024. Now let's go ahead and talk about the last box office update for 2023 and see who took the number one spot. Now taking the number five spot, it's anyone but you at 10 points five million dollars taking the number four spot is the boys in the boat at 11.6 million dollars number three is the color purple at 6.2 million dollars aquaman 2 is at 26 million dollars and wonka is back on top making 33 million dollars for the four day holiday weekend and that is your box office update for 2023 wonka takes the number one spot for the last weekend of the year and it shows that this movie has some legs and it's going to do very very well when it comes to the long-term box office numbers before we end this video i want to give you guys a quick update i just seen it right now 
For those who are Gru and Minion fans, Despicable Me 4, it will be released summer of 2024. Now, it's been seven years since we had a Despicable Me film since Despicable Me 3. And yes, we had spinoff films with the Minions and Gru being a kid, but I'm glad they're going back to grew as an adult and with his family and there you go guys that is the last update for 2023 let me know in the comment section how do you feel about this guys before we head out i just want to say a couple things all right my daughter wanted to join me but i just wanted to say thank you guys for helping us make this channel very very special i um, mean we got so close to hitting hitting 800 subs it's amazing because I didn't know what this channel was going to be like. I knew I wanted it to be a movie channel. I just wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it. And I'm glad we finally found the right path. And with reactions, movie rumors, movie news and stuff like that. And I'm glad you guys enjoy it as much as I do because I got a lot of passion and love for this, for the entertainment news. And I cannot wait to give you guys the best for 2024. And I hope you guys are ready for that. But guys, there it is. That is the last of the video. Please do me a huge favor. If you want more movie content just like this, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and have that bell on. You guys enjoy the new year. You guys be safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.